We got some major, major, major breaking silly season news as Carson Osmar has finally confirmed that he will join Spire Motorsports in 2024. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. As I just said a second ago, another major silly season domino has officially fallen as Carson Osmar has officially announced that he will join Spire Motorsports in 2024, driving the number 77 in the Cup Series. And according to the deal, it is a multi-year deal. He will join Zane Smith, who will likely be in the 78 car next year in 2024, and will also be teammates with Corey LaJoy in the 2024 season. This is absolutely really awesome. Amazing to see that Carson Osbar is getting the promotion to the Cup Series in 2024 on a full-time basis. This has been the biggest and worst-kept secret in the industry for the last few months, because we've heard these rumors for the last few months that Carson Osbar was going to be headed to the Cup Series in 2024, and now it's officially finalized. And I've been a Carson an Osmar fan for the last few years. He has shown a lot of maturity and a lot of growth in the last year. And look what he's done in the Cup Series so far in 2023 in the select starts that he has ran. He has scored four top 20 finishes. He could have gotten the top 15 finish in his debut to Gateway in the 7 car. And he has been very impressive in the select starts he's run. And he also has a really great chance to win the Truck Series Championship in 2023, where he currently, I believe, is above the cutoff line still at this point. And Carson Osmar has already scored three wins in the Truck Series this year in 2023. And I think he could win the championship in trucks in the 2023 season. This also isn't the biggest surprise in the world when you think about the connection Aspire has with Trackhouse Racing. We know that Nice Motorsports has had alliance with Trackhouse Racing the last couple of years because some of their drivers at track us, that being Daniel Suarez and Ross Jassane, have driven with Nice Motorsports in the past, and the Worldwide Express Cup and basically sponsorship has been a huge factor to that. Now, why is Carson Osmar getting the promotion with the Cup Series already? Well, like I said, Carson Osmar is a very, very talented and a very, very great driver. And I do believe that Carson Osmar is going to be an underdog next year in 2024. We all know, of course, that that 77 car has kind of struggled in the 2023 and 2022 seasons. However, there's a couple factors why I do believe that Carson Osmar will be the best driver who's ever driven the 77 car in Spire Motorsports history outside of Justin Haley, who did win that Daytona race. Number one, Spire Motorsports is going to have a pretty big alliance with Trackhouse Racing going into 2024. And while I think a lot of that focus is going to, of course, go to Zane Smith in 2024, I think a lot of the stuff that they're using, that Spire, that they're going to use, is really going to help out the other Spire drivers like Corey LaJoy and Carson Osmar in the 2024 season. The second reason is because Carson Osmar is a generational talent. I believe one day Carson Osmar could win a championship. The guy always gets the best out of equipment. And one thing, he has a major upside as well going his way because Carson Osmar is only 20 years old, which is why what he's doing in the Cup Series at the age of 20 is extremely impressive. He has taken that 42 car, that no disrespect to Noah Gregson, but Noah Gregson really strong in the 42 car. He got in the 42 car and performed extremely well. And I think this absolutely is an amazing and good move for Carson Hosevar going into 2024. So now, let's talk about my expectations for Carson Hosevar going into 2024. I think Carson Osbar is going to have a decent rookie season, a full-time rookie season, because I think he is going to have some really strong runs in the 77. I'm not, because he's going to be working with Kevin Boney Manning, more than likely, who is a fantastic crew chief, who, of course, has won some cup races. He's won some Xfinity Series championships as a crew chief as well, and has helped with the Truck Series program as well. I think Carson Osbar is going to get a lot of top 20s, and I think he is going to finish around the top 30 in the standings, maybe even higher than the top 20 in the standings as well, because Carson Osbar, like I said, knows how to get the best out of equipment. He's helped that 42 car not fall below that top 33 in owner's points, and that's been a huge reason why I think he is going to do very good next year in 2024. And this is going to be joining an elite class of rookies in 2024 on a full-time basis. Of course, his teammate Zane Smith is driving full time more than likely in the 78 car 2024 and I have to say Zane Smith is really impressive too and I think that Zane has a chance to win a rookie of the year but Carson Osmar is going to be fighting for that this year in 2024 and then we got Josh Berry 
Josh Berry is a very, very good driver. He's kind of struggled a little bit junior motorsports, so I feel like there's been improvement at times, but unfortunately got eliminated in the round of 12. And then you got John Hernimacek, who's moving back up to the Cup Series in 2024, though, of course, he has driven the Cup Series before back in 2020 and did make a one-off start in 2022 with 2311 Racing in substitution for Bubba Walsh when he got suspended after Las Vegas, which, of course, is this weekend. We're about a year since that situation ended up occurring. I am so stoked for Carson Osmar. It's going to be a really fun year for him, and I think that this team is going to set the world on fire. And you think about the other two guys that he's going to be teammates with, Corey LaJoy being one of them. Corey LaJoy, I think, is one of the most underrated drivers in the Cup Series currently at the moment. He's taken that seven car, and he's had the best year of his Cup Series career up to this point. And I do believe that you're going to see Corey LaJoy have a pretty good year, especially with that GameBridge money that's coming into play. And, of course, some of those KBM guys, the Cobbles Motorsports team, is probably going to work with them in 2024. I think that's really going to help them out next year. And then you have Zane Smith. Zane Smith will be driving for Spire in 2024, but of course, he'll have an alliance with Trackhouse Racing. So I believe that you're going to see that 78 car, whatever number they choose for Zane Smith, I believe that you're going to see Zane Smith really set the world on fire next year, do a pretty good job next year. And I think most, some of those Trackhouse engineers are really going to help. So now the big question evolves around the current driver of the 77 car, and that is Ty Dillon. What happens to Ty Dillon in 2024? Well, there's been a lot of speculation recently that Ty Dillon could potentially head over to Call of Racing and drive the number 16 car cup in 2024. Because it sounds like currently at the moment right now that it sounds like that AJ Allmendinger more than likely will be returning to the Xfinity Series on a full-time basis. Not because AJ isn't a talented driver. It's because AJ is a really, really good driver. And unfortunately, the funding is a big issue. And you need funding and sponsorship to run a full season. Whether you like it or not, Ty Dillon does have a lot of sponsorship funding behind him. Ferris Mowers, among other companies, are going to be willing to work with them. But I do believe the call of racing, if Ty Dillon ends up in that 16 car, I think he really is going to struggle. But it sounds like Ty Dillon more than likely is headed over to call of racing in 2024, which I think is going to be a massive downgrade for call of racing. Because I think Daniel Hemmer is going to be decent in the 31 car, but I'm really not sure what we're going to see from Ty Dillon in the 2024 season. But like I said, going back to Carson Osmar, I have been so impressed with this driver really from the get-go. Going all the way back to 2021 when he started driving full-time, I was so impressed back then in the select starts that he made that year. And then, of course, in 2022, what he's been able to accomplish the last few years has been extremely impressive. He should have won a lot more races than he had. And I think that this is a fantastic and great move for Carson Osmar to see him finally going cup racing in the 2024 season. Really happy about this. And nonetheless, massive and huge congratulations to Carson Osmar on joining the Cup Series and driving for Spire Motorsports in 2024. So, that is going to be today's breaking news video. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link description below that, and comment below your thoughts on today's video. How well do you think Carson Osmar is going to perform with Spire Motorsports in 2024? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, we're having NASCAR news video discussing news over the last couple days, including a little bit of a touch-up on this Carson host of our story. Then on Thursday, we'll have a special video, more than likely some sort of silly season update along those lines, which is probably the last one that's going to come out until after the championship week. And then, of course, we might have a round of a preview also dropping, but I don't think that's going to drop until later in the week. Then Friday, there should be a NASCAR news video dropping on the channel. And then on Saturday, we'll have the NASCAR Xfinity Series race view from Las Vegas, and Sunday, the NASCAR Cup Series race view from Las Vegas, as we get you guys set up for the round of eight. Got a lot of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.